Safety tests like this happen virtually every day at one of the world's top automotive facilities. 90 years ago, General Motors built the Proving Ground facilities, dedicated to testing their vehicles. They built it in Milford, Michigan, a small village northwest of Detroit. Back then, it took all day to get there. They chose the site because of its removed proximity from the urban area and its hilly terrain that naturally enabled various testing. Cars and safety have always gone hand in hand. At GM's Proving Ground, engineers began testing vehicle safety long before they really had the technology to do so. For rollover testing, engineers had to physically push the car down a track and observe as it actually rolled over. Today, the Proving Ground has a facility built specifically for this type of test. Old crash test videos show engineers jumping off the car at the last second. Notice how someone was there to catch him? This guy is risking his own safety to test safety. In the 60s, GM built a crash barrier. Using a tow rope, they propelled this 1930s vehicle into the cement. Though the vehicle was outdated at that point, there is always more to learn. Today, there's a fully equipped building built around the barrier, with 15 cameras and 360 light bulbs designed to observe every possible facet of the crash so it can be analyzed for customer safety. In the 80s, GM designed the Hybrid 3 crash test dummies that were eventually adopted by the entire industry as the standard. The average dummy can last 10 years, but many parts are replaced on a regular basis. Engineers can study the effects of many different crash conditions on the body and are continuously driven by the desire to build safer cars. Is the VBMU taking data? Yes, we're taking data. Starting to... Over the past 90 years, one thing has remained unchanged. GM continues to develop and use the most advanced technologies available to deliver customers the safest vehicles possible.